हेलो स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी मटेरियल प्रॉपर्टी ऑफ स्ट्रक्चरल स्टील नाउ प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ मटेरियल्स यूज्ड इन कंस्ट्रक्शन फॉलोइंग प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ स्ट्रक्चरल स्टील आर कंसीडर्ड बिफोर यूजिंग देम फॉर अ कंस्ट्रक्शन दीज प्रॉपर्टीज आर यूजफुल फॉर डिटरमाइनिंग द क्वालिटी ऑफ स्टील हाई क्वालिटी स्टील इज यूज so that dependable and long lasting construction is possible the most important components include the following the first one is density density of a material is defined as mass per unit volume now structural steel has density of 7.75 to 8.1 gram per centimeter cube next is the elastic modulus elastic modulus or modulus of elasticity is the measurement of tendency of an object to be deformed when force or stress is applied to it typical values for structural steel ranges from 190 to 210 gigapascals next is the poisson's ratio it is the ratio between contraction and elongation of the material lower the value lesser the object will shrink in thickness when stretched acceptable values for structural steel are 0.27 to 0.30 now next is the tensile strength tensile strength of an object is the determination of limit up to which an object can be stretched without breaking fracture point is the point at which an object breaks after application of stress now structural steel has high tensile strength so it is preferred over other materials for construction next property is the yield strength yield strength or yield point is the stress at which an object deforms permanently it cannot return to its original shape when stress is removed structural steel made of carbon has yield strength of 187 to 758 megapascals structural steel made of alloys has values from 366 to 1793 megapascal Now the next property is the melting point. There is no defined value for melting point due to the wide variation in types of structural steel. Melting point is the temperature at which object starts to melt when heated. Next property is the specific heat. A specific heat or heat capacity is the amount of heat which needs to be applied to the object to raise its temperature by a given amount. a higher value of specific heat denotes greater insulation ability of the object values are measured in joules per kilogram kelvin structural steel made of carbon has values from 450 to 2081 and that made from alloys has values ranging from 452 to 1499 next property is the hardness hardness is the resistance of an object to shape change when force is applied There are three types of hardness measurements: scratch, indentation, and rebound. Structural steel made by using alloys has hardness value between 149 to 627 kg. Structural steel made of carbon has values of 86 to 388 kg. Next property is the ductility. Ductility is the ability of material to withstand its tensile strength. with the increase in the carbon content in the steel its strength increases but its ductility decreases ductility is measured by percentage of strain over a given gauge length now the next property is the durability durability is the ability of the material to withstand wear and tear next one is the strength tensile strength increases with hardness of the material hardness is the property of a material that enables it to resist plastic deformation penetration indentation and scratching now the next one is toughness it is the resistance against impact loading due to toughness fracture and cracks will occur in the material if the steel is not enough tough the crack will propagate rapidly the toughness of material is ability to resist against brittle fracture now the components of steel the first one is tension member 
टेंशन मेंबर कैन बी फाउंड एस वेब एंड कॉर्ड इंट्रोसेस एंड ओपन वेब स्टील जॉइंट्स दे कैरी टेंसाइल एंड पुलिंग फोर्सेस प्रिवेंटिंग फोर्स टू बी अप्लाइड ऑन द अदर मेंबर्स यूज्ड इन कंस्ट्रक्शन अनदर वन इज कंप्रेशन मेंबर दैट इज कॉलम स्ट्रट्स और पोस्ट मेक अप द कंप्रेशन मेंबर दे आर द वर्टिकल मेंबर इंट्रोसेस एंड जॉइंट्स दैट आर इन कंप्रेशन नेक्स्ट वन इज बेंडिंग मेंबर्स बीम्स जॉइंट्स girders lintels are known as bending members each member has its own application but typically bending members carry moments and shear forces now the next one is combined force members combined force members are also known as beam column and are subjected to bending compression connecting members bring the entire building together now the last one is connection A steel beam forms basic skeleton of the building and provides greater support and strength these beams usually hold the floor or the roof i beams are widely used and comes in different sizes i beams can be used both as a beam and a column the girder or i beam is used in construction of nearly all metal buildings it gives strength in all direction every structural component of a steel building can be made by varying sizes of i beam similarly Reinforced bar is a type of steel rod which is used to create reinforced concrete. Steel rods are inserted into concrete to add strength and gives flexibility to concrete. Because these bars are responsible for taking up the tensile stresses. These bars are important in building made of concrete or which have substantial amount of concrete used in construction. Steel joists are used to support floors or ceilings. these are laid in rows across girders they are attached using joist hangers now next is the what is with the grates the grates are important in determining the strength of the reinforced steel bars as i mentioned different grates above there are different numbers for each grade like fe415 fe500 etc these are not just numbers they denote the yield strength of the particular rebar now what do you mean by yield strength it is defined as the stress at which the reinforced bar starts to exhibit plastic deformation therefore the higher the number the higher the yield strength the construction of structures depend on the type of the grade now let us see the characteristic of each grade and how does it help in the construction of structures now the classification in TMT steel reinforced bar even though the tensile strength is important an equally important factor is its ductility ratio ductility is what defines the ability of the steel bar to handle forces more effectively more ductile the bar is more capable it becomes in handling stress in order to achieve higher tensile strength changes are made during the quenching process which results in less ductility or brittleness of the reinforced steel bar the tmt steel reinforced bars consist of the following grades namely fe415 fe500 fe550 and fe600 now mild steel that is fe250 less commonly used because of their lower strength hysg that is high yield strength deformed bar examples are fe415 and fe500 they are generally used in rcc structures now tmt bars have inner core that is soft and ductile and outer core very high tensile strength now types of reinforcement reinforcement steel is manufactured mainly in the forms that is smooth steel bars deformed steel bars and wire mesh steel bars now fe500 a higher tmt steel rebar version of the fe415 steel fe500 has a yield strength of 500 newton per mm square and ultimate tensile strength of 545 newton per mm square which is superior to the fe415 grade due to its higher tensile strength it requires less number of bars which results in approximately 17% lesser consumption of steel in construction however it has a percent elongation of 12% this is because the grade is less ductile than fe415 grade 
Mainly, Fe500 is used for the construction of structures that demand more strength such as bridges, large building, etc. Now, Fe600. These great TMT bars were introduced which further increased the tensile strength than its predecessors. With its superior tensile strength, the consumption of these steel rebars in the construction projects significantly got reduced and load bearing capabilities of these bars were increased. It has a yield strength of 600 Newton per mm square and ultimate tensile strength of 660 Newton per mm square. Similar to its predecessors, Fe500 and Fe550, it is used for the construction of structures requiring huge tensile strength. However, it is more brittle with a percent elongation of 10 percent. Also, due to high cost, Fe600 is not used commonly as others. That is all about the material properties. Thank you very much, students.